Hi, this is Steve Hosher with Razor Gage, and today I'm going to do a short video on the auto list screen. The auto list is uh, an option that is paid for, it's not standard. Uh, it's accessible through this button right here where it says auto list screen. I'm going to click it. So the purpose of the auto list is to download cut lists that are that can be a varying cut list format, meaning the columns can be in any order. Uh, so we can map the auto list to accommodate where the important columns are rather than having to dictate uh, what order the columns are in. Um, it, is, it, it accepts a CSV file or you can do an access database. So here's the auto list screen. I'm going to click open file and I'll choose this file here. So when we open a file, we're given a list of groups. So the, uh, one of the unique capabilities of the auto list is its ability to sort the cut list into groups. Right now, this cut list is sorted by what this customer has called part number. Um, we might call it material type. These are different material types in his cut list. So each group is uh, has parts of common material type. Over here on this column it says length. So that is the number of, in this case, inches because this radio button is checked, the number of inches required to cut all the parts in this group. If I change it to feet, then it shows how many feet are required to cut all the parts in this group. And there are seven groups. So I'll select one, and here are the parts in this group. You can see it's a pretty big group, and this, so this cut list is obviously very large. So the top of the screen, we'll see that we're in saw stop mode. So we can switch between saw stop and pusher mode with this button right here. And you can do that at any time. In saw stop mode, you can touch any line item, and the razor gauge will move to that position. Uh, these happen to all, are they all the same length? No, they change down here. Uh, so any of these items, you can just click on it and it'll move to that position. And you can just cut one item out of the list. And when you cut it, um, if you uh, click the part cut button, it'll decrement the quantity. So in this case, this part here, the quantity is one. So if I click part cut, decrements to zero and it crosses it off the list. So uh, and you can and that's one way to use auto list is just by touching the line items and cutting and clicking part cut. Uh, but the real power in auto list is its ability to optimize. So I'm going to scroll back up here to the top. Uh, now when we're using it as a stop, if you want to optimize, then you click the button enter new length. So let's say that the razor gauge positioner is on the left side of the saw and so you move you put a new piece of stock on the right and uh, if it's um, metal where there aren't any, like say aluminum where there aren't any defects you would maybe just tell it the overall length of the material. Um, you would well you would trim the end and let's say that you uh, you trimmed approximately an inch off the end and then you have uh, 119 inches left if it was a 10 foot stick starting out with. So you'd enter 119 and hit enter and it would find two parts that would make the best use of that remaining material. And then the razor gauge would have moved to this position right here automatically upon clicking enter on that length and so now you would move the stock against the stop, cycle the saw. Now if you have a tool safe sensor and you cycle the saw, it'll automatically click part cut in this optimization screen. So if you cycled the saw and you had a tool safe sensor, it would automatically cross that off and move to the next one and the razor gauge would move to this next position right here. Cycle the saw again and those two parts are cut and crossed off 
Let's see if we can find them in here. There was one. That might have been the one I already cut. Or that. There's one, should be two more. There's another one. There's another one. Okay, so those are the th two parts I cut in the optimization screen. One part I just cut by touching a line item and moved to the position. So that, in a nutshell, is how you use the auto list when you're using it as a stop. Now, if you were doing wood, you would click this button and you would have a ruler mounted on the infeed side. So in our example, it'd be on the right side of the razor gauge. And you would look down that ruler where you'd trim the end of the board to get uh, any you know, uh, defects off the end. And your ruler that's mounted on the right side would be calibrated to the saw kerf. So if you don't, if you trim the end and don't move the stick, then you can look down that ruler and say, oh, I have a de the beginning of a, the first defect is at 72 inches. So you can hit 72 and then it'll find the part or parts that will make the best use of that 72 inches. You cycle the saw, it'll decrement the quantity and come back here and then you can cut the defect out manually and then enter the next length which maybe you've got 27 inches till the de to, to the beginning of the next defect. Basically we're describing a clear span. And so it found a part that will fit in that and you click part cut or you cycle the saw and if you have a tool safe sensor it'll automatically do that for you decrement the quantity and then it comes back here and that's how you work through your uh, cut list if you're if you're cutting with wood with defects so now if I go to pusher mode now pusher mode you're not going to be able to do wood with defects but you can if you have MDF or wood where defects doesn't matter like if you're uh, say you're building crates and you have a 2 by 6 that's 16 feet long. You don't care about defects. If you're cutting aluminum or copper, PVC, fiberglass, you don't have to worry about defects. You just have a trim, a programmed leading edge trim and trailing edge trim and all you have to do is give it the, uh, the length and the length is probably going to repeat. So let's say that you are cutting aluminum and your parts are 20, your stock is 20 feet long so you just enter 240 enter. Then it finds all these parts that will make the best use of that 20 foot stick and it'll automatically, uh, well, depending on your I.O. option, it will either, you'll manually cycle through, basically you'll cycle the saw. Uh, since this software is on my, this is the demo software, which you can download from our website, by the way. But since it isn't hooked up to a razor gauge, I've got these buttons to simulate commands that it might get back from the razor gauge. So uh, now it's in the trim position. And if, if you have no I.O., you would be cycling the saw and hitting next. If you have a fully automatic I.O., then it basically is just going to run through all these and it'll show you what's cut as you're cutting and then uh, you're done. Now if you're going to use the same length over and over you can click auto use length and then now I already entered 240 so I can click use length and load rather than enter length and load and um, then it will uh, you'll cut through and then it'll actually just automatically load a new 20 foot piece and then you just keep going it will just keep repeating this 20 foot piece until they're all done so the last thing I'm going to talk about is our ability to read a cut list that's been optimized already so some software some companies use software that optimizes the cut list before it gets to us and in those cases they've assigned parts to certain bars. So there'll be a column called bar number or part stock number and each part is assigned a bar or a part stock number and they don't want us to re-optimize. They've already made a plan and they want us to follow it. So the way we do that is with our sorting, the way we deal with that is with our sorting capability. So I'm going to go to the settings and I'm going to go to grouping criteria. 
So right now we're only sorting by part number, which is the equivalent of material type in this, in this case. So I'm going to add part stock number and job name and then apply that. So now I have a lot fewer parts. Uh, now some of these are already cut, which in a normal, uh, normally they would not be because uh, you wouldn't be cutting in different ways the way we have been in this demonstration. But uh, you would have, these are the only parts that are available to cut from this bar. Now if I go to grouping list, you can see I have all these, a lot more, a lot more groups now. I have uh, 322 groups. Uh, part stock number column here, so these are the, these are the criteria that we're sorting by. We're sorting by part number, part stock number, and job name. And we, under part stock number, you can see, you know, each group is a new bar number. So if I choose bar number one, it's these four parts. And then we just run it the way we, I showed you before. And that's how we make sure that if the cut list is pre-optimized, we follow the plan that was uh, already created by that software. We don't want to mess that up. So uh, a few, one other feature I wanted to mention is that now we can uh, run multiple parts at once. Of course, this doesn't apply to the pre-optimized uh, cut list, but you can stack parts and optimize. Um, let's see, uh, is there any other? Those are, yeah, there are a few more features, but I'll try, I'm trying to keep this short. Uh, there are, you know, the, the auto list will print labels. This is where you can automate, you can uh, create the label. You just choose, you know, uh, from the headings what you want to appear on the label. And if I'm in stop mode and I click one of these, then here we see uh, down in this virtual label area, it shows you what's going to be there and it'll print the label. Um, you can also do some barcode. You can designate certain fields, you know, to print in barcode font, and you can control where those areas show up on the label. So those are a few things, a few other little features of AutoList. Uh, again, I'm trying to keep this short. I'm not sure how good a job I did of keeping it short, but if you have, there is a, a comprehensive video on our YouTube channel. Uh, you can access it from our website www.razorgage.com. Thanks and have a great day.